YouTube, Komodo Gaming here. Today we are back in Motor Town, and folks, we're gonna be driving this sweet pickup because the game is telling me to do that. So I'm assuming uh, we need to start getting our delivery on because eventually I wanna actually move up to the big massive diesel trucks. So yeah, let's go ahead and go into here. Like, I feel like this is the first of the game that we've actually skipped. I got a weird hunch that this is something we should have done like at the beginning, but I went and tried to find stuff like the police car. Which, by the way, I do want to unlock the charger. That's going to be a thing. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up a delivery here. We can load up. Oh, that's too big. Uh, we could probably load up quite a few things, right? Or can we only do, like, one thing at a time? Oh, here we go. That's worth a good bit. Uh, let's do these boxes. So, we'll load this up, and then we'll deliver this. Okay, so... Here, we've got that in the back of our truck. Do we actually need to, like, strap it down? Like, they gave us straps, which I feel like that is a thing. Can we just load these? Oh, look at this. You can strap the cargo. Ha <laughs> ha, Komodo's smart. I'm not going to lose all the crap that's in here. Which, by the way, I don't know what we're actually delivering. Um, we're delivering something. So, like I said, if we drive more of this, eventually we'll move up to, like, big rigs. And, uh, yeah, that's something I definitely think I want to do. I also want to do some more of the taxi stuff. Uh, that way... Actually, I wonder if the taxi is the same as the bus. Actually, the bus might be a different level. I'd eventually like to unlock the bus and do some bus jobs. So this is three kilometers away. We're in comfort mode. No, we're going in sport mode. We need to get this cargo there ASAP, even if we have to get into police pursuits. But also, I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. It's been pretty amazing. I didn't think this game would do that well. Like I was like, oh, it might do good for like an episode, but the second episode was really good too. So uh, keep showing that support. Also, we might hit a school bus here. Hi, Mr. Bus. Wait, can we drive that? I mean, I think you can pretty much drive anything in the game. Also, eventually, I might want to try the multiplayer, which I don't know how active it is, but maybe there's some servers going on, and we can go try to pull over real players. Uh, I kind of want to go off-roading here because this is a big, massive truck. Can we damage the cargo? I don't know if that's a thing or not, but we're doing it. Holy man. Okay. Now, this is really bouncy. Oh, no. Oh, okay. This is fine. Like I said, I hope there's nothing valuable in here. Also, another thing I want to find, they added a hospital to the game. So that means that we can actually go pick up like hurt people, which would be kind of cool. Okay, I'm not sure if this was faster or not, but going off-roading was actually kind of fun. And oh, here is a dirt road. But guess what? We're still off-roading. I don't follow no rules. All right, I think this is our drop-off point up here. Okay, oh geez. And let's just pull it into this parking lot. Wait, pickup delivery. There it goes. Boom. All right, so now it wants us to drive the trophy taxi. Why is this a thing now? Like, I don't remember us having these objectives. Uh, I feel like maybe some of this has been added. Also, profit share to the owner. Oh, you're telling me I'm renting the truck? Well, that's doo-doo. So, yeah, the game actually kind of has, like, a realistic structure. So, say you're a truck driver in real life. Like, of course, you're going to benefit from actually owning your truck. Uh, yeah, you've got maintenance and stuff that you have to do to it, but you don't have to share the profits of basically renting the truck. So that's the same thing we're doing right now. We don't own said truck. We're renting it. Uh, so cop, cop. Okay, cop. Okay, comfort mode. Will they get you for uh, running stop signs? I don't know if they will or won't. Also, uh, we got a blinker. We better use that too. Also, uh, what building is this? Is this the hospital? I don't know, this building has like a full interior. That is a, a money bank. Wait a minute. Can we be a criminal and rob the bank? Is that a thing? Hold on, let's, before we go drive that taxi, which by the way, we tried to drive a taxi last episode and I was just picking up hitchhikers because I didn't know what I was doing. But we'll eventually do the job and what? What's going on here? Uh, Can we rob this place? Wait, the vault's open. Hey, uh, I can't go through here. Hold on. Hop it. Hop, hop this. There we go. <gasps> um. So it would appear that everybody's probably dead and there's just unlimited money in here. Can I just grab the money? Well, that's something. Yeah, awesome. What the? What has happened in here? Is everybody dead? Like the cases are busted open? This is suspicious looking. So, if the dev watches my videos, I mean, if we could be a criminal, I mean, technically there's driving jobs in that. 
I wouldn't mind actually uh, maybe uh, robbing a bank and making some extra money. Maybe you have to get away from the police. I tell you what, there is a... Oh, sorry about that. There's a lot of potential when it comes to this game. Just giving you that open world feel while also having some fun transport jobs. Like, I don't know too many games like this. All right, so Komodo is going to finally properly do this. Okay, so I need to go pick up a passenger. So yeah, there's taxi icons. And I could also see the hitchhiker icon. Move out the way. I ain't got time for this. Oh, where's our, uh, where's our taxi people? So yeah, they kind of look like hitchhikers. Like, they're essentially doing the same thing. I'm assuming you just probably make more. Holy man, $1,200. I mean, that is 6.8 kilometers, but that's a lot of money. All right, buckle up, buckaroo. We're, we're about to go fast. Oh, there's a comfort bar there. So does that mean I have to actually drive proper while somebody's in the taxi cab? So yeah, I gunned it for a second, and the comfort... A uh, little square actually went out. So you, when you actually are driving the taxi cab, you need to drive proper. Okay, I got you. So like full blown speeding down the highway, the customer really doesn't seem to care. It was when I switched into sport mode that I guess my passenger was like, "Hey, slow it down, buddy." So as long as we avoid cops, we can do a little bit of speeding to make this job go along a little faster. Oh, there's a cop up there. Hit the brakes. Okay, just. Play it cool. Do they give you a little bit of leeway as far as the speed? Like here in America, you get like probably five miles an hour. I feel it's like the safe zone over the speed limit. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, the guy did not like me Tokyo drifting around the corner. Okay. All right, we got to be careful. There's a lot of money on the line here. Uh, these taxi jobs are actually worth uh, quite a bit. Oh, so it's 110 kilometers on this road. So yeah, the major highway does have quite a bit of a, uh, a speed boost here. Can I change this to miles per hour because I'm American and I don't know how to read kilometers very well? But it's 110 kilometers. Is that like, I don't know, like 70 miles an hour? It feels like it's close to like highway speed, which that's what we're on. So I'm assuming that's what this is. Okay, we got to be all proper and stuff. Turn our turn signal on. Let's slow down. I'm sure the uh, miles per hour or the uh, kilometers per hour speed limit's going to change. There's no stop sign here, is there? Okay, be careful in the corners. So that seems to be where the uh, customer really doesn't like like really rough driving is the corners. So there we go. I would say that was pretty smooth. All right, this is actually a little bit of a new area. We haven't been over here. This is nice looking. Uh, there's a big like truck stop thingy up there, gas station over here. All right, here we go. This is our drop off. So nice and easy on the brakes. Oh, uh, there we go. Boom. All right, there's the profit share. So it's minus 380, but still there's a lot of money here and quite a bit of XP. Also, I think we might've gotten docked a little bit for our satisfaction and comfort. Maybe if we would've gotten the two stars, we would've gotten a little bonus. All right, so we're up to $2,500. We are officially doing it, folks. Also, the game quit telling us objectives. We've got something marked on our map. What is this? Where are we supposed to be going here? Does it? Want us to go to the car dealer or wait, it says passenger. I don't have a passenger here. I don't know. I guess we'll head over there and see what happens. Uh, but I need another vehicle. Like I want to unlock some more stuff here. Let's go to the heavy duty place real quick. Watch out. Hey, I just got pimp maneuvered by the AI. Oh, nice Lambo. Oh, you can buy these. Look how expensive these trucks are. Yeah, but how much cargo could you haul with these things? Also, there's got to be a trailer place for the uh, semis, right? What's this? Sell vehicle. Wait, can I sell this? This isn't mine. Oh, okay. Wait, I wonder how much I can get for my muscle car. That's a good question. Like, my muscle car is pretty pointless right now. I guess it'd be good for racing, but if I were to sell it, could I buy my own truck and then bypass the whole fact that I have to share my profits uh, with people when I make deliveries? Like, eventually it'd pay for itself, right? All right, we got some people ready to be picked up over here. Uh, I haven't gone back and actually found my muscle car. I'm kind of curious, though. Here, let's get out over here. Here's a car dealership. So, 90000 for the tow truck, which I'm assuming is tow jobs. Only 12000 for this taxi cab, which that might be kind of good to own our own. Uh, let's see, 10000 The truck's fairly cheap. Yeah, now I am curious. Like, how much would our muscle car fetch? Like, even just buying this truck would be great. Oh, you can rent these. Wait, can I rent, like, the Ferrari and the Lamborghinis? How much to rent to this? Oh, there's a required level. Okay, I guess that makes sense. All right, so you can rent this vehicle for $10 
or 10 gold for 10 minutes, which I think would actually be cheaper than uh, giving the profit share. Wait, what about this? Can I rent this? Uh, drive. Wait, I can. Oh, vehicle is not drivable. Why would you even give me the option? Buy or rent? All right, so I need a level 10 driving, which we're at a level six right now. Huh, okay. Well, that's opened up some opportunities here. Uh, what direction do you guys think we should go as far as uh, vehicles and jobs that we should be doing? Uh, we're going to accept another passenger because, yeah, I, I want to make some money while we're uh, driving around the map. Uh, also, we're totally going to go look at our muscle car here in a bit. But let's go take another passenger to their destination. Uh, we're about 2.7 kilometers out. I must say the game's actually kind of pretty at sunset. I like this. I like this a lot. All right, let's get over here. So yeah, after we complete this job, we'll go get our muscle car. We'll try to just sell it because like I said, it's just a pointless car. If it's worth at least a decent bit, maybe we can buy that truck this episode. That way we can uh, start running delivery jobs and working our way up to be like a semi driver. So at some point I got reported to the police and I'm not really sure when I actually broke the law. Um, okay, just act natural. Oh no, there's cops coming. Okay, well, we might have to treat this as, let's just get the passenger to their destination. What if we were to go off-roading a little bit? Wait, where'd the cop go? I swear I saw a cop up here. Maybe there wasn't a cop. Okay, we're fine. Just play it cool. Uh, nothing's wrong. We're not gonna lose our money here. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Sorry, people. I got places to go. I got a passenger. And where were you going? Oh, a convenience store? That was it? All right, well, here we go. Boom. Hey, look, the satisfaction gives you actually uh, more money, which by the way, at some point I, I ticked them off a bit, but it's fine. All right, I'm really tired of this profit sharing thing that we're doing. All right, we need a, uh-oh, there's a cop on their way. Uh, I saw it for a second. Okay, we need to get to our car, which I think our car is parked at a police station. Oh, so there's home. Uh, do we want to go there? All right, our car's right up there. So let's just mark our car. All right, here is our vehicle. We'll just let that go. That's fine. Uh, is this thing destroyed? Also, how much for the charger? Can we uh, can we drive this yet? What level do we need to be? So a hundred. Oh, we are totally screwed. We're not getting that anytime soon. But yeah, if we want to be a, a cop, we'll have to do this. Also, what is this icon? So this just spawns the police vehicle. But I, I don't wonder if maybe uh, there's a job besides just catching bad guys. Oh, this vehicle's damaged. Oh, did we crash this? I guess we did. It's fine. Uh, there's a car dealership right down the road. Uh, we're going to take it to it and see what they would give us for this car. All right, this thing is old and busted. I need something brand spanking new. Okay, where's the drop off? There it is. All right, so if I were to park this in here, what do you give me for this? If I go sell? Oh, no, I don't have enough money here. All right, well, we're going to sell this anyways. We're about a thousand short for the truck. So that means we need to make a little bit more money. I mean, we're close though. Can we just hijack a vehicle? That way I can make a tiny bit more money. Oh, hey, hey, I, I want that. Oh, this is fine. Well, we kind of have a pretty clear objective here. We're eventually gonna, like I said, work our way up to bigger and better vehicles. Uh, we just kind of have to see what level we have to make it up to. So say like this little uh, flatbed thing. Can I just drive this? So that's cargo level two. That's easy. Like we run a couple jobs with the smaller one. Uh, like we would get that at, wait, can we drive this? Huh? Uh, wait, what? Uh, let's try this again. Can I drive you? Interact. Drive. All right, that's level 15 and 30. So yeah, we have a long ways to go before we can actually make it to where we can drive semis. But hopefully next episode, we'll work our way up to this thing and buy ourselves our own little delivery vehicle. So you guys know what to do. Let me know down in the comment section below what we should do next. And we'll see you guys next time.